Thank you so much, Wendy. It is truly a pleasure to be here today. And hello, everyone. My name is Hector Del Castillo, Chief Product Officer at Beyond. Today's discussion is seven ways your business can thrive in a down economy. Last year, there were many economists forecasting an economic downturn over the next 12 to 24 months. No one knew exactly when and how it would happen, but they just knew it was about to happen. And the reason for that is because we've been on over a 10 year period, almost 15 years of very slow growth, positive growth rates for all of US and North America for that matter. Recession alarm bells have begun to ring as the spread of COVID-19 uh, brings large portions of the US economy to a standstill. And today's discussion will be focusing on identifying how executives can best position their companies for harsher economic conditions. And at Beyond, we believe that extraordinary times call for extraordinary people to plan and implement new measures, new ways of doing business. The future belongs to business leaders who find a need that needs to be filled and figure a way to step in to help in a way that allows the business to move forward. In today's discussion, we will discuss and identify seven ways business executives and leaders can best position their companies to thrive. So before we get started, I want to give a, a shout out and thank you to the great IT professional for hosting this great webcast. And those of you who are not familiar, it's a great way to get education and growth, professional growth, in on-demand videos that they have available. And for more information, you can visit their website. And it's a great pleasure always to be part of their program. If you're on Twitter, use this particular handles and hashtags, at Beyond the May, at HM Del Castillo, hashtag business growth, hashtag great IT pro, pro one. And you can also use a short link at the bottom of the slide to actually go to our company page on LinkedIn. And feel free to share any slides, any uh, photos, any quotes from today's discussion, and we'll be more than glad to retweet and share more information. I also want to point out that today's discussion will actually will have a Q&A portion, which Wendy will moderate at the end of today. So be sure to use the Q&A window to put in your questions as we begin to cover new material. And we will cover them as some allows as, uh, towards the end of today's discussion. There will also be some questions that I'll be asking, and I'll be asking you to share your thoughts and your responses using the chat window and just share your responses with everyone. You should be able to have access to, your, to a chat window where you can send information based uh, and your answers to questions that I'll be asking you. We'll do a little bit of trivia in today's discussion. So here's a recent study that was performed by Strategy and, and they actually polled CEOs around the world. Uh, a few thousand CEOs were polled, and they were asked this one question about how secure or how confident they were in knowing that they had the ability to not only design a great growth strategy, but also then execute a great growth strategy. And what came out of that study is that only 8% of company leaders today, these are business executives of companies that operate around the world, can excel at both strategy and execution. And as a result, these are a few companies that actually are able to achieve growth, positive growth over time. So what happens to the rest of the 92% of companies around the world? Usually, having the ability to execute on both strategy and execution is great for growth, but if you don't have the ability to execute on both at the same time, it actually slows down or there's no growth or it's actually negative growth for a company. So today we're gonna to talk about focus specifically on identifying seven key factors that allow you to start assessing within your company, your company's ability to not just design a great strategy, but also execute a great strategy. So today's discussion is gonna to focus around this. How can your company really thrive in tough economic times? 
the struggle is that, as I mentioned before, we've had over 10 years of growth. And those companies have actually been achieving, even if it's slow growth, they've been actually growing in a positive direction. So what happens when the entire common economy starts to shrink and cave down? We'll talk about specifically what are the things that you can do to position your company to actually thrive even in tough economic conditions. So what we're discussing today is kind of just highlight of current situation. Then we're gonna move on very quickly to discuss seven ways to thrive in a down economy. We're gonna mention some pitfalls to avoid for those of you who are already implementing some of these seven options. And then we'll discuss the key takeaways from today's discussion, and then we're getting to moderated Q&A. So let's get into the current situation. Current situation today, many countries have been forecasting, I mentioned earlier, even a year ago, many economists, I would say over the majority of economists were already forecasting some sort of economic downturn just because based on the fact that we've been on a slow growth for the last uh, over 10 to 15 years. And U.S. now has been seeing signs of recession um, even at the, at the, before the end of last year. And in today's world, most economies now, if you're actually now are looking at the pulse of the market and what economists are saying is that today's response to the COVID outbreak, which is now a pandemic, is more than likely going to be leading to some sort of global recession. And many of them are forecasting that this global recession will be a deeper uh, impact in the U.S. than compared to the Great Recession that we had back in 2007. So the biggest things to identify is what are the growth pillars within any company? And I wanna pose a question to the audience before I move on and tell me of these within your company, which is the biggest barrier to scale your company? And what I mean by scaling your company is that you're not only doing incremental growth, you're actually take, achieving non-linear growth, which in a positive direction. Which of these do you believe is the biggest contributor to actually scaling your business. Uh, use the chat window to submit your responses and pick any of these five answers. So if you can pick any combination of these answers, let me know what you believe are the biggest barriers to scale your business. So I'll, wait, I'll give you a few minutes to respond, but basically these five, any of these five, usually are what most experts are saying are barriers to a scale company, let me know which one of these are barriers, specific barriers within your company today. And I'm seeing some of you are saying poor execution. Some of you are saying is lack of time. And a few of you are selecting other responses as well. So let's really talk about what the reason why most companies fail. So if you look at any study as to why companies fail, it's actually. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that last clip. My name is Michael Maloudis, and if you'd like to watch the full 60 minutes of that last webcast, while also gaining complete unlimited access to our entire library of IT learning, simply visit our subscribe page at greatpro.org slash subscribe. Unlimited annual access is $199 per year, but if you use the coupon code learn to earn you can drop that membership fee to just $149. That's less than $13 per month for unlimited access to over 1,000 hours of on-demand career development, covering the entire spectrum of IT management best practices, including business analysis and requirements, software development, quality and testing, risk management, process improvement, project management, and even digital transformation. But your membership doesn't just give you unlimited access to our vast learning library. You also get free access to our mobile app, as well as direct access to our network of over 300 of the world's leading IT consultants, all of whom are dedicated to putting practical knowledge at your fingertips so that you can learn more and earn more. I hope you will join me in becoming a member of the great IT professional and advancing your career with us. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button above so that you get notified whenever we publish new free webcasts each week of the year. Thank you for your time and best wishes for your continued success.